there's something very special and unique between us two that uh, nobody else can really emulate. Yeah, emulate. Or, uh, yeah, it's a great word emulate. actually. That's exactly what I was trying to say. And just okay, like well, that, we finish, finish each other's sentences. We finish each other's sentences. Yeah. So like a lot of times, I'll start a sentence and have no idea where I'm going with it, and he's like, "Oh, okay, I see where he's trying to get." <laughs> just pull the word out of the air. And so he'll go and do that. And he took vocab enrichment, and I didn't. So. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to throw off people who may have never heard of us before Rise, so we wanted No One Compares to You, our follow-up single, to be... Kind of tropical in the same kind of vein. I think people in the mainstream may have heard that record, and maybe that's what they knew us for, so... Exactly. Yeah, we wanted to kind of bring that tropical element, but still keep it very authentic to Jack yeah. and Jack. We felt like UC and TMS both kind of worked around what we wanted to do, because we knew that TMS had started it off very acoustic, but uh, they were definitely open. I say they, I've honestly never met them. I don't know if it's one guy or multiple people. Uh, bless you, though, and thank you very much for coming up with this track. Thoughts of you and me keep passing by Like ships in the night We never collide That's a very real line for me. I mean, I think of my ex all the time and anytime I feel like I'm connecting with another girl I start to like question like do I really fuck with this girl or Do I just kind of like see my ex in her? Need you even after all this time You can't be replaced Even if I try Someone that I love could really, really do like almost anything to me and my love for them won't change. I'll always love her, you know? So it's like, that's just something that is like a given in my life. I'm looking at her face, but I'm seeing you. I know no girl ever wants to hear that like, you know, their face is being replaced, so to speak, but uh, it is the harsh reality. Any, anytime somebody gets out of a relationship, they tend to compare. And so I definitely like, you know, post, post my last uh, relationship, I definitely kind of went into a phase where I was like, you know, kind of trying to fill the boy by either like going out or, you know, like maybe I'll just like have like a one night stand over here. And like, it just means nothing at the end of the day. And you think personally that it's gonna like, you know, help you cope, but it always ends up backfiring. She's sleeping on your side. What can I do? I think everybody notices in time that like, it, the only thing that can heal it is time. Like nothing, none of these coping mechanisms will actually end up, you know, um, helping you get out of the spot that you're in mentally. Luckily, I, I think me and G are very stark in the contrast where like, like I'm like completely like over my last person. You can tell based off talking to him that like, you know, he's he's still got the linger period. He's still in that phase. We should be out to our, my mind is on you. I try, I really do. The way I see heart to heart is like, you know, why can't we just like chop this up? Like, why can't we just talk about this? And like, why can't we just open our hearts to each other and like figure out what went wrong? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of like relationships kind of end in a dismal spot. Like with my last one, like there was like, you know, kind of confusion, like distance kind of separated us, but like there was never like a, a, a true closure period, you know, or like a true like, you know, sign off message. Like, okay, this is why it happened. Like there was never like too much clarity on either of our ends. Every time I think I find somebody, I just wish that somebody was you. It's just tough, you know? Like, you go and, like, do something that you've once done with your ex, with someone else, and you're like, oh, man, this sucks. Like, fuck. This is not, this is like, I'm sad right now. <laughs> There's no way that someone else could make me ever feel the same way that you do. No one compares to you. During those 16 months or 18 months or whatever it's been, I'm not counting. No, <laughs> How, however long it's been, I've connected with another person and, I've had moments where I'm like, damn, like, do I love this person? At the end of that thought, I'm always like, I always get to the bottom and it's just like, no, I don't. Make it hard for me to love again. Oh, where do I start? And when do you end? Even if I tell myself I can, I know that I'll break before I can bend. Yeah. Maybe you like go through the ice cream and TV phase and then and then it's like club nonstop. My manager went and got me like DQ and there's only one DQ in LA and I didn't even know at the time and DQ's like my favorite thing. We're from Omaha, Nebraska. So Dairy Queen's like everywhere out there cause everyone's like extremely overweight. And uh, I used to eat it all the time. And so after my breakup, Adam comes up and he's like, I got you blizzards. And I'm like, yo. And then that was one night. And then after that, it was like, we went out for like three months straight. And it was just like, Crazy, yeah, I'll never do that again. <laughs> you guys did it right now. If you were thinking of a song, would you be able to figure it out, do you think? Probably not, because I'm thinking of three, two, one. Run it through the six with my, my woes. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> no, no, I was, doing, I was going to Juice World. <laughs> I don't know why, it's the first song that came to my mind. It's not your song. <laughs> nah, but it's just gotta happen like on, on like spare the moment type stuff. You know, you can't really plan it. No, maybe later though. We'll try again at the end. Yeah. Okay.